The following movie about which you're about to see is rated R for violence or something. Hey, um, we're gonna tell them about the beards? Hey! What? Why are you wearing that silly outfit? And that, this 90 degree heat? Aren't you hot? Hey man, you gotta hold still if you want the beard to stay on your face, man. Well, God, I know. Look at what it's doing. God, look, it's flashing in and out. This is a shitty device. Blue man, it's not this guy's fault. I've known him for years. Well, I don't care. Oh! Sorry about that. I lost my balance, man. Anyway, yeah. Where, where are you guys? The phone movie you're about to see is Radar. I'm down here on the ground, man. Thanks a lot. I wasn't hot until you mentioned something about it. It's all about mental... <laughs> illness? Oh, very funny. Hey, your beard and glasses is gone. I know. Alright, folks. Enjoy the movie. Hey guys, the van's ready. Ah, oh, come on. I'm I'm hungry. I want to get some food, you know. All right, dang it. Not now, guys. We're playing Toss the Dame. Hey, isn't that... Yes, Murdoch. Guys, knock it off. I'm going to throw a clear across the room, fool. We're not in a room, B.A. Guys, we have an important mission to go on. Oh, woo. Oh, guys, knock it off. I'm going to be sick. All right. Put her down, B.A. God dang it. And I was just one point behind before I was about to beat you. All right. All right. Where's this mission? Yeah, where's this mission, sucker? Oh, the mission is at the Albright House in downtown Western Pennsylvania. Oh, God, you mean we got to travel? You guys better not say we're getting on a plane. Uh, who said that? Yeah, um, I got this glass of milk right here. Huh? B.A., didn't you tell me you skipped breakfast this morning? All right, have a glass of milk, fool. Mmm. This is a great milk, dude. Hey, wait a minute. This is not milk. This is just a melted milkshake, man. Who are you trying to fool here? Oh, I'm getting all. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Ah, oh, it never fails. The old passing milk test. All right. Um, Murdoch. Get this baby going and let's get on that plane. Ah, I love my job. Not the way trees are supposed to look, though, Charlie Brown. I mean, look at them. Take a good look at them. They look like carrots. Look, just take a good look at them. Now, do you really think this is the way God intended? Trees that look like carrots? They look like carrots. They even have the green stuff coming up. Do you see it? Huh? They're supposed to look like broccoli, not carrots. Oh, good grief. Mm-hmm. Good grief indeed. Well, I'm going to go to my dad's house. We've got gremlins. I mean, got the A-team coming over late uh, this afternoon. I'll see you later, Chuck. Okay. Why does that guy always look like he has a beer in his hand? Even though he never has a beer in his hand. Oh, good grief. Alright, I'll feed you here in a second, Snoopy. Hello, is Fat Rob here? Yeah, R Robbie Gladstone? Hey guys, I'm not Robbie Gladstone, but I'm just your average white guy who lives with his parents. And I'm supposed to be, I think, mid-twenties? 
but I'm actually like 30, maybe 40. Who knows? Anyway, yes, I am the one who hired you guys. We didn't even introduce ourselves, kid. Yeah, but I know exactly who you are. Now that I told you my real age, it seems kind of weird you call me kid. He calls everybody kid, sucker. Well, okay then. Now, as you notice, this house is very haunted. We don't deal with haunted houses, kid. That's up to the Ghostbusters. Well, I did call the Ghostbusters. In fact, their car got stuck out there in the mud. And they had to call, like, a taxi cab and come get them. They're towing the vehicle back to the firehouse next week, but... That's why I called you guys. Oh, great. Now we're going to do a ghost investigation? Yeah, and... Well, huh? Why did you say it that way? But don't worry, fellas. I will bring in the best ghost investigation... See, now you got me talking like that. Well, sorry, boo. I've been watching Papa ever since I was three years old. Us, we've got the only tools we'll ever need right here. Um, I hate to inform you this, Hannibal, but <laughs> you got a gun. Yeah, that's right. If any evil spirits come at me, I'll just shoot the hell out of them. Um, that won't really do any good if they're already dead, Hannibal. Sure. It'll kill them twice. Make them, or at least make them think twice about messing with this guy. Yeah, that's right. Okay, guys, I'll be in my room playing ping pong. You guys have a good evening. Hey, wait a minute. All right, team. Uh, Mr. T, don't stand too close to that fireplace. You might burn your ass off. The name's B.A. Why did you call me Mr. T? Oh, you resemble that guy on television. But anyway, don't forget, folks. You guy, you go upstairs. Wait, no. Okay, no, that's a bad idea. Me and Face will go upstairs. And you and Murdoch will investigate down here. Got it? All right, what, what, wait? Why you always got to stick me with that Murdoch fool? Hey, man, I'm not that bad. You crazy as hell. Bad enough for me. All right, enough with the chatter, huh? We got some investigating to do. Let's go, boys. Face man, you coming up here or not? Hm. Never thought I'd go upstairs with a guy before. <laughs> Very funny, asshole. You know, I got this sugar in my mouth. I come out saying a bunch of things. Just go, you goofball. I know, right? I'm just kidding with you. All right, come on. Hey, wait a minute. Do you even know where that... Isn't that kid up there, like, masturbating? <laughs> this is what it seemed like. I think when he said he was going to play ping pong, that was a, uh... Uh, slang for masturbating? Yeah, but I don't ever say that word about me again. Yeah, but you were about to shut up, fool. Let's go to the kitchen. Oh, sounds good to me. Man, this kitchen is doing some grandstanding and hot dogging. You can say that again, B.A. Well, speaking of hot dogs, boy, I could sure go for a hot dog right now. Are you crazy, dude? We ain't sitting here trying to eat all these people's hot dogs. We got a case to solve. Oh, come on, B.A. We got to eat, too. Hey, what do you say? I bet there's a pie in that fridge. Yeah, I think you right. Ah, right, fine. Go grab some toast, and I'll cook us up some eggs, and we'll have some breakfast. All right. <laughs> I was hoping you'd say that, B.A. I'll do the toast. You do the eggs. You don't shut up. I'll break your legs. Ah, boy, am I glad I finally get the chance to sit down and play my own personal 
ping pong. All right, freeze, sucker. Huh? Yeah, you're nasty, dirty, rotten. Coward, I'll hit you to the moon and back. You didn't think it was just... Wait a minute, guys. What are you talking about? What for? Oh. We thought you were up here doing something gross and dirty. Yeah. Hey, wait a minute. Huh? What's that? Look over there. Oh, my God. There's milk and cookies over there. I call dibs on fifths. No way, you shut up, bitch. I'll eat cookies, too. Hey, guys, there's plenty of cookies there to share. I'll hit you to the moon and back. Why would you hit me back? Once you hit me there, wouldn't I just have to stay there? And then I'll get on a rocket ship, and I'll come on that gosh damn moon, and I'll come up there and punch you back to Earth. It doesn't make sense, though. Just eat the cookies. Okay. Guys? Didn't you come up here to investigate? Shut up. I'm trying to eat cookies. Yeah, how the hell? You expect us to eat cookies? You're over there blabbing. No. What were you saying? About the 5th of October. Ah. Uh, <laughs> I was here. In my room. I was smelling the cheese. From downstairs. I believe my dad was opening up a whole new can of ragu when all of a sudden this uh, floating thing just comes straight in my room. Well, we don't know what to do with floating things. Oh my god, there he is! What you talking about, fool? Oh, hey. <laughs> I'm not Mr. I mean, I'm not B.A. You're finished with that cookie? We need some more milk. I do believe we have milk. Let me punch it over there. No, what is with you and punching everything? I can't help it. I got fish to fury. Pow! There you go. See? Instant milk. Pow. Wow. You guys missed the floating thing because you're over there talking about food. Oh, yeah. Sorry about that. Mm, this milk is so good. You put sugar in your milk? Who? Huh? It came out of the carton. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Gee, I wonder if B.A. and Murdoch have any luck. I hope they're having better luck than we are. That's for sure. You guys, it was just here. And it's floating away. Shut up! That's not nice. Well, that was an amazing breakfast. I mean, that was an amazing breakfast, B.A. Well, thanks for making me make it. You know they do say that breakfast is the most important meal of the day, fool! I know. You know, do you hear noises? I hear noises in the background, that's what you mean. I am the ghost of somebody who once wore this hat. Woo! Oh my god, B.A. Don't worry, I'll get him, sucker. Dun, 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 dun. Well, the hat flew to the fridge, so I'm gonna close the fridge. There. Now let's go collect our money and get the hell out of here. Sounds good to me. Oh, man, I am so full. Yeah, I forgot that I was lactose intolerant. Well, let's go to bed. Um, guys? Do you hear that noise? Yeah, it's your TV. Go turn it off, you idiot. No! I hear... Ooh. Oh my god, the ghost is alive! It's just me. I'm just making some funny jokes. I'm gonna show you funny here in a minute, sucker, as soon as I knock your head clear off your chin. Hey guys, um... So, did you catch the ghost? Yeah, we slammed it in the refrigerator. It was apparently a ghost of... Hey, where am I? 
It was apparently a ghost of uh, some guy that got killed while wearing a Santa Claus hat. Oh, would you look at that face, man? I knew it. It was the ghost of the man who apparently was wearing a face mask the whole time. <sighs> I guess I'll have to... Wait, did you say face mask? I mean, Santa Claus hat. Well, I guess I'll have to go... I guess I owe my friend Charlie Brown an apology. Yes, you do. Now, would you mind turning out that light? Oh, uh, okay. Good night, guys. Good night, everybody. Hey, wait a minute. Where the hell's our money, sucker? Oh, yeah, um, uh, here. This enough money for you? I do say, sir. With that kind of money, you can, um, uh, take my daughter out on a dancing date. So, don't trust him with your daughter. I don't even have a daughter, B.A. Eh? Here's the money. Okay, good. Gentlemen, we're trying to get some shut eye here. I call dog bed. Oh, god damn it. Fine. I call foot of the bed. It is a pretty big bed. Yeah, I know. Alright. Good night, everybody. Doo 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 doo.